This short video is for those who like to write their formulas like this, or like this, or even like this. In the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with each of these. Let's go. First, what's wrong with this one? These two here are formulas for true and false. You can find them in the formula guide, so these must be legitimate. So what's wrong with them? Well, these two are functions whose only purpose is to return you the true and false values respectively. And if that's all they do, why not use those values directly? Coda actually has the true and false literals. Notice the difference, these don't have brackets. Not only it's cleaner and a bit shorter, but also these literals will calculate a tiny bit faster. Not by a whole lot, but that's always like that with performance. Small things in large docs tend to add up. We'll yet have to talk a lot about that. The reason why so many people to this day are using true and false like functions is because not so long ago Coda kinda pushed for it. When you started typing out true or false, Coda would suggest you the functions and not even offer the literals. And of course I cannot find any evidence of it now that I need it. But trust me, I've been fighting the formula editor quite a lot, having to remove those brackets every single time. Now it's fixed and these two show up and Coda would even use them when it generates its formulas for you. Again, I remember this different, but not a single recording of that. Alright, so literals are fine. So what's wrong with this one then? Well, this is just unnecessary. A checkbox or a toggle that is checked is already true. You don't need to compare true to true to get true. So just get rid of them. Don't write equals true ever again. With unchecked checkboxes, it's not as simple though. You see, checkboxes and toggles actually have not two, but three states. In addition to checked and unchecked state, they can also be blank, which is neither true nor false. I'm gonna talk about the blank state in more depth in my next short video. For now, just know your options. If you want to specifically check for an unchecked checkbox or toggle but not the blank one, use this expression, equals false. But if you want to catch both the unchecked and deleted toggles, I prefer to use this expression, not equals to true. Or not. I mean or not, this is also a function that returns true for everything that is not true. Now you'd ask Paul, but this is also a function, isn't it less performant? And you're right, perhaps it is, I honestly never measured. It's just that I myself sometimes use it because I like the expressiveness it gives. Although yeah, whenever I use it, it's mostly in actions where it doesn't make a difference performance-wise. And finally, these two offenders. These are common for people coming from sheets, because in spreadsheet formulas, these two operators are only available as functions. No, in Coda we have it like the normal people. We have both the AND and OR operators that you can use between expressions just like multiplication and addition. Actually, these two are called logical multiplication and addition. And here's how you can remember which is which. Think of true and false as signal and zero. Which, by the way, they totally are. Anything multiplied by zero is zero, so and is the multiplication. And anything added to a signal is signal, so or is an addition. And signal plus signal is still signal, because in Boolean logic there's no such thing as double signal. And just like addition and multiplication in math, these two operators also have precedence rules. Multiplication comes before addition. Addition. So when you have this expression, you don't just calculate it left to right. First, you calculate the ands as if they were in brackets, and only then you apply the ors. Now you will know how to solve my riddle from my Twitter and which rows will remain in this view after you apply this filter. So why use these operators and not functions? Because again, it's cleaner and it's more performant, but this time it's not marginally, but by a whole lot. Expressions like these are optimized in a few ways. If this expression is used in a filter, Coda can create an index for it and instead of calculating this for every row every time, it will use a very optimized lookup, meaning that this view will not degrade in performance as the amount of rows grows, or at least our filter will not be the reason of it. And even if it gets calculated, these expressions have the capability to short circuit, meaning that if you have a chain of expressions like this and the first one is false, Coda will already know that the whole expression is false and will not waste resources and time checking for the rest of the formula. That's why the order of these filters matters, and sometimes changing the order can actually be a low-hanging fruit fix for performance. And for those functions, they are not optimized for indexing and there is no short-circuiting, meaning that Coda always has to calculate all the expressions here before they get passed to the function. So never use these. Again, to recap, whenever you have operators or literals for something, you should prefer these over functions that would spend extra processing our cycles to do the same thing and not even be optimized. That's all from me for today, like, subscribe, Patreon and I see you the next time.